Holy smokes everyone, boy is it going from bad to worse for what was called the investor queen, Kathy Wood. In this video, I'm going to be going over the latest news and the latest data to show the rise and fall of Kathy Wood and how a lot of retail investors that were diehard fans have got hurt really bad by investing in her funds and following her advice. So everyone, what's happening to her fund? What's happening to her stocks? And what can we learn from it? Let's get into it. Look at this, everyone. Kathy Wood outflows grow as diehard fans face the biggest test. And I don't know about you, but I'm definitely starting to see her fan base start to shift. And they really are starting to question her investment thesis starting to think she only got lucky because we're in the biggest bull market in history. ARK funds are tumbling in 2020 as rising yields are hammering tech. And that's definitely true, everyone. We can see today that yields hit a low of around 1.71%, but we can see towards the end of the day, yields are starting to rise. And this really hurts growth stocks because it increases the cost of capital and it makes it harder for them to raise capital and it makes their future earnings less valuable. So the loyalty of Kathy Wood's legion of fans may be finally waning as the new year bloodbath in speculative technology stocks hands the star money manager a miserable start to 2020. Investors pulled a massive three. 152 million from Wood's flagship ARK Innovation ETF on Wednesday. That was the biggest outflow since March. And I'll bring up a chart here just to illustrate how much of a big outflow it was. But you have to remember the only other time it was bigger was in February, but that's when there was a lot more money in the fund. So in percentage terms, this is the biggest outflow. And I'll bring up a chart here. We can see that their ARK investment fund is now down pretty much 50%. And it did hit a low of $77 today, which was roughly about 50% decline. And you know the quote of Warren Buffett, everyone's a genius in a bull market, but it's only until the tie goes out you see who's been swimming naked. And unfortunately for Kathy Wood and many of these individual stock pickers that were following her trades and posting them all over YouTube, well, it's been a very bad year for them. Market conditions have been turning ever more hostile to the disruptive tech companies beloved by Wood. Rampant inflation has spurred a hawkish turn by the Federal Reserve, spelling the end to pandemic era stimulus and the ultra low yields that help pump up equity valuations. And what did we hear of many Kathy Wood's predictions in 2021? She continued to say, don't worry, we're going to see deflation. Now, that couldn't be further from the truth, and it's really the opposite has happened. We're seeing extreme high inflation. Now, I understand that technology should bring deflation and it should lower costs, but unfortunately, this economy relies on more inflation, and the government needs inflation to devalue the debt. So they're going to do everything they can to keep inflation going and to keep deflation away. Investors are pulling back from speculative bets and growth firms whose profit potential lies in the future, exactly the kind of stocks favored by ARK. And what are we starting to see hedge funds do now, everyone? Well, hedge funds have boosted their value stock exposure to the highest in four years. And this is what we've been seeing over the past 12 months. We've been seeing a seesaw in the markets from growth to value. And it was Warren Buffett that made value investing so famous. But since these growth stocks have gone on such parabolic moves, this is an investing style that's long been forgotten. Wood's repeated message is that the firm's investment horizon is for at least five years, and that potential of innovation companies' arc targets is huge. It has regularly used pullbacks in its high conviction aims to increase its positions. And hey, at least she's sticking to her guns here, and investors should invest for the long term, but what we had in 2021 was a huge bubble and there was huge amounts of hype. And you don't want to invest in hype even if there is long-term growth. Kind of like the internet companies. We all knew that the internet was going to change the world, but in 2000, it was a crazy bubble. And you simply didn't know what company would be there after the bubble popped. So even though the technology will be disruptive in the future, and it may be the future and create huge amounts of wealth, you shouldn't invest in these companies when there's crazy amount of hype and speculation. The firm's miserable run seems to be getting even worse in 2022, and every one of its US listed ETFs is down so far. The worst performer is ARK Genomic Revolution ETF, with a drop of 17% already this year. The best is ARK Israel Innovation Technology ETF, which is still down 5%. This video isn't just a bash on Kathy Wood. This is a lesson we can all learn, everyone. No matter how big of a guru or how great someone could be at investing or could be hyped because there will be a lot that come and go that will make a few good calls, you shouldn't just follow someone else's investment style blindly. You have to do your own research because everyone's situation is different. 
and everyone has different investment horizons and different risk tolerance. So you always have to do your own research to find out what's the best strategy for yourself. But hey, if these tech stops do keep plummeting, there may be some opportunities that could come if you find some companies that have been oversold that have good future growth prospects. But everyone, that was just a quick update with what's happening with Kathy Wood's ARK ETF. What do you think about her investing style and will she outperform over the long term? Let me know. Now, for all my loyal viewers and subscribers still watching, you're awesome. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.